I'm Danica. My husband and I are founders and owners of projectgrief.org and today I'm here to talk to you about seven reasons why art works for grief recovery. Project Grief is an online art therapy course for those struggling with grief. We have 10 art classes which correspond with 10 mindset changes which help a grieving person transition from out of being a victim of grief into being an artist. So, I want to talk about today, how did we get to that idea in the first place? How does art help those who are grieving? And is art therapy something for just the talented few, or can it be applicable to anyone? We'll talk about this and more today, and I want to warn you, at the end of the course, you have the chance to join us and enroll in Project Grief. Enrollment closes Thursday, and so we want to get as many people to join us in this healing project as possible. First, I'm going to adjust the camera really quick. And I'm not looking away. There we go. All right, so I want to speak to the people that most need to see this. So if you're watching and you know of someone who um, would really benefit from hearing these things, go ahead and tag them in the comments and invite them to the live um, or send them the replay after we're done. So let's get started. So how did we get to the idea of using art to help those who grieve in the first place? Well, it comes from my own story. I'm going to get a little personal with you um, just to share the depth of emotion and the passion I have for um, those who are mourning right now. Um, I grew up in a great family um, and everyone was artistic. So it's something that has been a part of who I am and what I was um, taught since an early age. But when I was 12 years old, my dad passed away suddenly of a heart attack. Um, he was 46 and healthy as far as we knew and so it totally caught us off guard. Um, I really struggled with grief as a 12 year old. We were all struggling um, and in different ways because we we're in different places and in relationship with my dad and different developmental phases. I was the oldest. Um, and then two years later, my grandma um, passed away of cancer and hers was a different kind of death because we watched her slowly um, pass away. Um, and by that time, I don't know that I really was able to grieve. I was completely numb. Um, it took a couple years and I remember those years were completely dry. I didn't cry. Um, I was a quiet kid and at that point no one else understood what it was like to lose a parent um, or to experience grief um, until I was maybe about mid-high school. And because I was so quiet and because I didn't have any peers in this, um, art was sometimes my only way to process. In college, I actually had a breakdown, and my art studio became my safe space. I remember I, it was a horrible time, but it was also beautiful looking back. I would have my easel set up in my studio, and I'd paint, and when I couldn't paint, I'd just fall on the ground and cry. And then I'd go and paint some more, and then I'd fall on the ground and cry. That was my, my way of processing. As I began to walk into healing from grief, um, I was a peer mentor at that time, and younger students started to ask me if I'd just take some time to paint with them. Um, and I didn't realize the significance of it until we were just painting side by side, and we'd have these best conversations. Um, it was an amazing tool for me to ask them hard stuff, to learn more about them, and to share a little bit of who I was, too. I started to realize that art was my tool. Um, and my husband and my brother, um, just about a year ago, helped me turn this process, this tool, into a course that I can help others with. And for that, I'm so grateful. <laughs> so if anyone's out there and relates to my story, please comment with that. I'm with you because I want to give the best information for those who are struggling right now. Um, and I, we don't like to feel alone. <laughs> now for the actual seven reasons why art works, this is my passion here. How does art help those who are grieving? First, grief goes beyond words, so we use art. If you picture a doctor's office, you know they have that pain chart um, where patients get to point at what is their level of pain. Those uh, charts are in pictures, not in words. If you imagine, how can you describe pain, especially emotional pain that's inside, it's uh, not perceived, you have to show it. It's really hard to use words. And so for that, for that I think art is one of the best tools for helping um, recover from grief because it, because it can describe the undescribable. Number two, if you're overwhelmed by the size of grief, art is a great way to tackle it. An unimaginably sized problem 
issue or loss or emotion can be tackled in a bite-sized portion within the four corners of a canvas. I mean, when you first lose someone, you can't imagine how you even start processing the thought of a loss. But if you can make a doodle and you can figure out, you know, just to get something onto paper, that's a bite-sized portion that you can take out of, out of that grief that was so big to begin with. And you can take it bite by bite. Four corners contain the grief and that um, helps us feel safe in order to start to process. Number three, simple sim symbols encode complex things. Art is full of symbolism. Um, you probably know this if you've looked at any painting recently, but everything is kind of encoded. And that's a great thing for us because we can talk about the issue without naming the issue. Sometimes it's too hard to say the word loss or die or pass away, but you can picture it and it's a little bit easier to talk about and to work around. For me, I often describe grief as a, a black ball, just like a little scribble. And that to me symbolizes that grief and I can move that black ball black scribble um, around the paper. I can work with it. I can put stuff around it. I can erase it. Um, I can just deal with my grief in the form of a symbol and it's easier to get out that way. Number four, kinesthetic release is a huge part of art. If you've ever done the coloring book craze where they all the coloring books claim, you know, oh, it's seven days to coloring out your inner peace or um, color out your stress or anxiety. All of these, um, the coloring book craze is based on the idea that coloring or a simple refocusing of the mind helps with a, a release of emotion and tension. And we can experience that same thing when we do art. Number five. Art acts as a mirror. The cool thing about doing art is that when it comes from inside of you, you get to externalize what's going on inside and then ask yourself, why did I choose to paint it that way? It helps us see what's going inside. And just like a mirror helps us adjust in our, our daily life, you know, oh, what's wrong? Oh, there's a hair out of place. It helps us understand what's going on because we can actually see it. We wouldn't have otherwise and we can adjust and then move on. So if there's something in the way of your grief, often it'll come out in your drawing if you're being intentional about it. And you can ask yourself, why did I choose to perceive it that way as well? Why did I emphasize that part and not the other? Why did I choose to color it that color? You can ask so many questions and learn so much about what was before in perceivable. Number six of why art helps those who are grieving. Art makes it easier to talk about the hard things. <laughs> like I said before, I've had so many good conversations with my mentees while doing art. I think art, when you're doing it with someone else, it's like a comfort blanket. You know, like people like to hold their lattes in front of them while they're at a coffee shop. It's kind of like a little barrier so you don't feel too vulnerable. Or uh, just a comfort blanket in general. I mean, it makes you feel safer. Or you have great conversations when you're sitting in a car with someone, not looking at them, but side by side and listening and sharing. Art makes it easier to talk about the hard things and to share them with someone else. And lastly, my favorite reason why art helps us who are grieving is doing art helps us begin the process of change. Whenever we introduce a change in mindset, the art project that follows is the most important part. That's how Project Grief works. We introduce a change in mindset and then have an art project that helps us act out the idea. The art project is what really helps us create change. That's because when we, we might understand things in our heads, but unless we put them into practice, an idea to stay is just that, an idea. Putting the idea into practice via an art project helps us begin to think about how we can put the idea into practice in our day-to-day -day life. Just like we're tackling an Im unimaginably big problem on the four corners of canvas or how we're using art as a mirror, you can start to imagine what are the possibilities? What if I change this? What if I make it a different size, make it a different color or flip it upside down? It helps us think into the abstract. How can you apply this in your own life? But first starting in the canvas. And learning about change is great, but using art to put it into practice is best. So now you've got your reasons why to use art for grief recovery. 
And probably you're thinking, yeah, but I'm not an artist. The last time I painted was ninth grade in art class. I can't draw a straight line. I'm still at stick figure status. I've heard these so many times. So it would be sad if I didn't address this next question. Is art therapy something for just the talented few or can it be applicable to anyone? Project Grief is really great in that it works with the idea that anyone can learn to be a grief artist. Grief art is different than fine art, which is what I do. Grief art is about the process, not the product. Art therapy also is often taught and or facilitated by an art expert. So the skills aren't all up to you in what you possess or don't have. So I'm not a certified art therapist, but I am an artist who has experienced various losses and helped others through theirs. When I teach Project Grief courses online or in person, I want you to not to have to worry about how do I do this. I want you to just have fun. So if you're tracking with what I'm saying so far, comment with hashtag grief art because that's what we're doing now. So I want to leave you with a couple of applications. <sighs> Becoming a grief artist is the solution to our inward pain. It took me years to find this <laughs> secret, I guess, and I walked into it by accident. But what happened to me by accident in that art helped me process my pain, I want to help you do on purpose. First, I want to talk about the definition of a grief victim. Grief victims are defined by their loss and have trouble seeing past the pain, living in the present and looking forward to the future. That was me. Victim is the word I chose because they let grief happen to them. They let emotional pain take the wheel and drive their life. And I was there. I know it very well. Grief artists, on the other hand, are completely opposite. They're not perfect people. They're not people who haven't experienced pain. But they're the people who take the pain of life and transform it into tools and lessons that help them to continually discover a new identity, to love deeper, to be more present, and to better work through difficulties as they come. It all begins with a change in mindset, from seeing yourself as a passive victim of grief to approaching thoughts and feelings as a grief artist. Grief artists have a different type of internal dialogue going on. They ask themselves, what beautiful thing can I salvage from the ashes of my loss? And asking yourself that is useful both now in your grief process and later when you go through other difficulties of life. It's such a valuable skill. And if you're interested in learning more about using art to recover from grief, I have a unique opportunity window for you. We've developed a complete master course that will lead you through 10 lessons that help you transform your mindset from grief victim to grief artist. We have art supply lists, PDF templates, and a, P a Facebook community to provide additional support. It's online, so it's accessible to you anytime and anywhere. And it's economical. For the cost of two to four counseling sessions, you can enjoy creative, engaging, and helpful grief support from, from the comfort of your own home. We'd love to have you join us. Enrollment closes Thursday, so, you, so take advantage of enrollment ASAP. To enroll, just click the link in the notes. Or if you have any questions, please feel free to private message me. And that's about it. I hope you're inspired to get your art on and make something beautiful today. Thanks, everybody. Bye.